हेलो या आई एम राहुल दिस साइड एज वी हैव शेड्यूल्ड द इंटरव्यू हाउ आर यू शुभम या हाय सर आई एम गुड व्हाट आउट यू या या आई एम गुड गुड सो एज वी हैव शेड्यूल्ड आवर इंटरव्यू एज यू नो सो कैन वी स्टार्ट इज दिस गुड टाइम टू टॉक या 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 वी कैन ओके शैल आई स्टार्ट या या श्योर या हाय राहुल माय नेम इज शुभम गुप्ता uh, uh i have completed my engineering from somvikaran college of engineering in it stream also i have completed my software testing course in cdn for that pune now come to my um, um, project and my company currently i am working in uh, agile technology private limited uh, as a senior qa so uh, i am working on to the caterpillar project it's a coal mining company basically they have a uh, different uh, uh, machines and uh, uh, each machine have a uh, different uh, inputs so according to the inputs we are playing uh, uh, with that and uh, we have a uh, 24 dashboard so uh, uh, so we are working in that dashboard so my roles and responsibilities to writing the test cases execute the test cases review the test cases of my colleague and actually we are following the agile methodology so yes i am involved in a different ceremonies uh, like uh, uh, requirement gathering uh, uh, sprint planning pointing poker uh, and uh, we have a daily uh, stand up call with the team and one with the uh, client if if uh, we face any impediments so then we can discuss in that call and we are uh, we are the, uh, using uh, agile devops for um, for tracking the reco- uh, tracking the requirements and uploading the test cases and uh, uh, yes i i used to log the bugs on that and uh, uh, yeah we are using uh, some tools uh, we are using uh, eg admin for uh, um, uh, database and uh, we have a ui expert so uh, in in a ui expert we fetch the data we get the uh, uh, inputs with the different devices uh, yeah we have a postman tool as well uh, so that's it from my side okay so so um, you have 6 plus experience right in manual testing yeah. or uh, have you worked on automation no actually i don't work uh, in automation okay okay and uh, have you worked on uh, uh, mobile applications yeah uh, 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 i have worked in uh, mobile application because my uh, my previous company was working on to the mobile application in mm-hmm. my current organization we have only a web application so uh, i don't have any chance to test in a current project so yes but i have a experience in a mobile application okay so let's take a scenario suppose uh, you are finding a issue in ios device but at the same yeah. time the developer is not finding so what may be the reason behind it and so, how will you explain like uh, i'm getting this type of issue yeah uh, so firstly uh, i'll check the uh, see uh, when we test any application so we start a debugging mode first uh, my, my first priority is to start the debugging mode so we can check the logs if i found any bugs and and after that we check the version uh, what type of version i use and what the developer use so if if the version mismatch definitely uh, uh, the developer will not reproduce the same bug uh, we check the uh, uh, we check the uh, also a platform like if i if i test into the testing platform or it's working on to the development uh, platform uh, because after merging uh, there are some conflict uh, will face uh, actually mm-hmm. developer will work, work on to the unit level uh, code but uh, as a tester we 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 work on to the merge code so yes i'll uh, i'll check these things and uh, after that if if i reproduce the same bug and uh, the developer is not reproduce the same bug so then uh, i'll take a call with uh, with the developer and i'll uh, uh, i'll show how to fix uh, uh, in my application and at uh, same time i'll uh, uh, discuss and uh, i'll uh, give a proper uh, result set and proper step 
to okay. identify the root cause okay okay but suppose uh, the developer is using the same device as you are using so yeah. and still he is not facing any issue so what yeah. would be the root cause for it uh maybe the uh, uh in the environment are uh, different mm-hmm. uh, i think i just uh, i i uh, i i use a different environment and uh, developer will work on to the different environment so maybe a one chance of uh, to uh, to identify that this this kind of defect so uh, i'll check the version uh, 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 i think uh, uh, environment also so uh, you mention like uh, the environment so uh, can you explain environment uh, related things like you are talking about the uat related environment or product related environment or any other thing yeah. you are telling no no actually we have a uh, four environments uh, generally mm. uh, uh, most no suppose are... yeah yeah i got your point suppose the environment is same the dev team is also working in the uat and you are also working on uat so okay what do we what would be the, the logs uh-huh. then we can check the logs logs is uh-huh. the best way to identify uh, identify any, any kind of work uh-huh. we can easily to track and easily to reproduce and uh, easily to check the actual root cause in 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 a log okay. rather than to doing uh, other things okay okay so what what is the like uh, you mentioned in the logs if you are reporting any logs so what is the key points if you are reporting any logs so um, see uh, i have reported a bug uh-huh. uh, in in my current organization uh, uh, i will play with the logs but in my previous organization i i didn't use any kind of logs but uh-huh. i report uh, such kind of bug and uh-huh. at the same t- point uh, as i told you uh, i always prefer to test in a debug mode so here yeah, definitely uh, there are some logs will generate uh, uh, so according to that we can check no yeah, with, yeah. The, with the help of the developer yeah i understood so, that uh, thing but uh, what uh, have you checked uh, what are under the logs you are reporting the logs so have you checked uh, anything type of what are the no, key I, points I'm, in the I'm logs no i am not reporting the logs uh-huh. i am report uh, i i report a bug not log mm-hmm. i'll check uh, we we can check in uh, in logs but uh, i am not reported on uh, logs yes uh, in in my current organization definitely uh, we have a different uh, system, we have a different services and if if i face any uh, issue in any uh, service definitely i have a logs and i can check uh, what what exactly the um, error uh, shows into the log so according mm-hmm. to that we will discuss with my lead or will uh, or if i have a, a, a good knowledge of about uh, that kind of requirement so i'll try to resolve from my end or mm-hmm. if i if it is not resolving then mm-hmm. i'll report it to god okay okay and suppose uh, the developer is saying to you like it's not a bug okay uh, you okay. mention yeah. all these things video attachment and also step by yeah. step uh, you are reproduce it but uh, the developer is saying like it's i can't reproduce in my devices okay so what will you do what is the next yeah. step for you okay so uh, this is the common uh, scenario in it industry we we face day to day this kind of um, scenario so uh, so uh, the first thing i'll uh, take a call with the developer and uh, i'll try to convince uh, uh, this is the bug and this is the actual requirement and i'll try to uh, i have reproduced so many times and these are the artifacts with me with my uh, with my bug so if if they are not convinced with uh, with these kind of things definitely will talk with my test lead or mm-hmm. my senior and i'll tell uh, my actual scenario or uh, uh, and then we'll take a call uh, what what we do with that bug okay got your point firstly i'll try to uh, mm-hmm. resolve my uh, problems uh, at my end mm-hmm. okay yeah got your point okay uh 
Yeah, let's move on the API testing. Have you worked on the API testing? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I have worked on the API testing, but I have a basic knowledge of about the API testing. Okay. So okay. I, if you give me opportunity, definitely I can do. Mm-hmm. But uh, in terms of uh, 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 deep uh, diving or uh, uh, index testing, uh, right mm-hmm. now uh, I am not doing that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But yes, I have a test so many things. Hello, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you are audible. Uh, please hold on two minutes only. Yeah. Yeah, Shivam, sorry for that because we have some important... No, no, so, it's not, not a problem, not yeah. a problem. Yeah. Mm, sorry, Rahul. Yeah, yeah. So, can you tell me, uh, as you mentioned, like, uh, you know about the basic things. So, what is the exactly API testing? Uh, so, in terms of uh, API testing, uh, the, see, if I, if I communicate with, between two, the two systems, or uh, so we use uh, uh, API in nowadays. So, uh, so communicating and uh, transfer the data and, uh, and send the request and uh, fetch the response. So generally, we are using the APIs right now. So in terms of our API testing, we check uh, suppose that uh, uh, sometimes we don't have a UI and uh, uh, we work onto the API. So if our API is work, uh, API have a function to do a, a, a particular task. How to do a particular task? So. So uh, before going to the UI, we can check our application, uh, our functionality is working properly or not with the help of to the te- uh, uh, API testing. Okay. What are the key points for API? Sorry. What are the key points for API? Yeah. Uh, for, uh, in terms of uh, API testing, uh, firstly I need to know uh, uh, the um, uh, request method. Mm-hmm. What what kind of request we are handling? After that, yeah. uh, we uh, uh, I'll check with the uh, endpoint, and after that, I'll check the resource. Uh, actually, uh, uh, in uh, endpoint, there are so many F- uh, APIs are available. So, what kind of AP- what API I need to test? So, I need a resource, or uh, if we have a, a path parameter. So, yes, I I want to that uh, kind of uh, information. After that, uh, I I need a request body. Uh, and uh, uh, in a request ready, I need uh, 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 important parameters. So, uh, and uh, if if we are uh, using any kind of authorization in in that application, so I need that kind of information. We need a uh, I need a header information as well, and also I need a response body uh, as well. Uh, so I can check my response is what uh, I am getting a proper response or not. And uh, if, if in terms of uh, API testing, we can check the performance as well. Suppose that uh, my uh, my client told me this API should uh, fetch the response in between uh, 20 seconds. Or uh, in, in if I uh, trigger that application uh, that API and it is taking uh, more than 20 minutes, uh, 20 seconds. So I can report that bug also. Mm-hmm. So how many request method in APIs? So uh, generally uh, there are so many uh, uh, methods. So uh, uh, basically I, I use only a four, four post get delete, and uh, sometimes I need a, if I need a header, so I had uh, head is a, a request, right? Mm-hmm. Request. Uh, what do you said? Can you come again? Head, please? head, 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 and and put put post, okay, get, okay, and delete, okay, okay. So, what is the difference between the put and post? 
सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ फोर्थ जस्ट वन मिनिट ओके नॉट फॉर मी या सो जनरली वी आर यूजिंग अ पोस्ट मेथड फॉर इफ आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ न्यू रिकॉर्ड इन इन अवर डेटा बेस सो दैट वी यूज अ पोस्ट मेथड फॉर दैट एंड इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मॉडिफाई एग्जिस्टिंग रिकॉर्ड इन अ डेटा बेस सो आई यूज अ पोस्ट और वाइज और वी कैन यूज ऑल्सो अ पोस्ट पोस्ट नॉट ओनली यूज फॉर फॉर क्रिएटिंग अ डेटा इट डिपेंड्स ऑन टू द हाउ टू यूज बाय द डेवलपर वी कैन नॉट यूज ओनली इन टर्म्स ऑफ अ गेट मेथड पोस्ट बट इन ऑल इन पोस्ट वी कैन यूज एज अ पोस्ट ओके सो हैव यू वर्क ऑन जीरा या Yeah. Uh, let's suppose uh, I need to identify the number of bugs uh, raised by someone uh, different QA members. So, how will you do that in the Zira? Uh, so, uh, actually, I, I have worked. Uh, I was worked uh, two years uh, before. so uh, i i know the concept and there are the feature uh, to uh, to uh, to fetch the complete bug uh, uh, list uh, in in a in, in a current sprint so uh, if i go uh, if i want to uh, check the complete uh, no no list, uh, so i'm not asking about the current sprint i'm asking about how many tickets are raised by someone users qa users and that is my question how many tickets yeah yeah how many time? yeah yeah how many tickets raised by a qa suppose you are working in a company and uh, you are uh, raised uh, multiple tickets okay so i want to identify how many tickets raised by you till the end uh, tickets in the sense uh, uh, are you are you talking about to the uh, tra- uh, task board No, no. I'm not talking about the task board. I'm just want to know how many tickets uh, you have raised in the zero. Uh, okay, mm. no issue. I didn't get uh, your point. Sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. My question is like, uh, how many tickets you have raised in the zero? I'm asking this. How so would you? In, in in sense of a bug or in sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can, uh, yeah, bug. Yeah. Big. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, so it depends on to the uh, um, requirement. So I, uh, uh, I think I have uh, around uh, two. No, no, no. I'm asking two. how will you filter out uh, the ra- uh, number of bugs you have raised. Uh, so uh, yeah, there is a one filter. So uh, you can select your name. Mm-hmm. Uh, go to in a uh, sprint board and you can select your name. So uh, uh, so and and type you can select as a bug. So you can check how many tickets you have raised. No, I don't want to go in the sprint. I just want to like uh, directly filter. Is there any features in the Zira so we can filter out? I don't want to like uh, how many sprint. I don't yeah, want to go in the task. I just want yeah, to. Have, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jira have a different feature. Uh, uh, I guess uh, the this feature also uh, uh, available in uh, Jira, but uh, uh, I I don't have a proper information, so I can't say anything. But yes, uh, when I was working in a uh, uh, Jira, so I uh, generally I do this. Thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, but Jira have uh, uh, this capability to uh, check. Uh, 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 whatever the tickets you have, uh, uh, mm-hmm. there are the multiple ways to check. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, what is the bug life cycle? Can you explain me? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, in terms of a bug life cycle, when uh, uh, bug life cycle is the time duration between when we find any bug till uh, the defect uh, will close. Suppose that uh, as a tester, I found a bug, so I reported that bug. so the status is new uh, correct so after mm-hmm. uh, after the uh, review by the test lead or for development lead so uh, 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 there are the four type of uh, 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 we have a status suppose that a uh, deferred status not a defect duplicate and to the uh, uh, it's a genuine bug 
so uh, uh, in, in a review uh, the uh, the lead uh, feels uh, this is not a genuine bug so they can directly close uh, with the comment this is not a bug and assign it to me okay uh, uh, the second is to the defer bug so uh, yes this is the genuine bug but the severity and the priority is very low we can consider this work in a upcoming sprint so uh, we can mark as a, a defer bug and after that uh, it's a duplicate work so uh, suppose that in a in a one module uh, there are the four testers are working parallelly and uh, one 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 tester has already reported that work so uh, so and you don't know so uh, so the uh, so the lead uh, can mark as a duplicate bug with assign that uh, uh, id um, uh, who is previously a, a reported and if they feel this is a genuine bug then definitely they will, they will assign to a concerned person and the concerned person the development team member will work on that part, uh, changes after once the uh, work has uh, work has fixed by the developer then uh, they assign it back to uh, a concerned test to retest so we'll check uh, it's uh, so it's a, uh, we perform the regression testing so uh, suppose that if if you feel uh, it's working fine properly and uh, the bug has been resolved properly so we can mark it uh, we can directly mark it to the uh, close or a done state or if you feel it's uh, no it's not fixed and it need to few changes again so we can mark, uh, we can again assign it to uh, developer uh, with the mark as to the reopen and uh, uh, if if the uh, work has been fixed and you you mark as a close after that uh, we perform the regression testing so check in a regression testing we check um uh, previously working uh, code is working fine after fixing this bug or not so this is the complete life cycle the complete life cycle okay and what uh, uh, can you explain when we can use the sdlc and when we we can go with the xl methodology uh, sorry when we can do the application development and testing with the help of the agile methodology and when we can uh, do the development and the testing with the help of the sdlc model so can you explain when we can use sdlc or when we can go with the agile methodology so sdlc or uh, agile yeah yeah right right, right. so um so see uh, if if you, uh, your your uh, requirement is crisp and clear and uh, you have a, a, a good amount of time and there, uh, you know uh, uh, there is no uh, new changes in uh, uh, in in further in a future so then definitely you can go with the uh, waterfall model and uh, um, if if uh, if the client uh, doesn't have a, a a crisp and clear uh, uh, requirement with uh, uh, with them and uh, they want to develop a, a product and they want a, a working code uh, in 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 very few days so we can go with the agile method so in in agile there are a lot of facility to change the request at any time so uh, the time, uh, time will be uh, um lesser uh, as compared to the waterfall and uh, the budget also suppose that if i work into the uh, waterfall model mm -hmm. and uh, it depends on to the uh, firstly requirements should be free then coding will then the documentation part will start after the documentation code code will um, completely write by the developers after that the testing will start but in agile we are working in a parallel mode so when to so, use sdlc as, uh, so uh, sdlc uh, i already told you na if you have a, a crisp and clear requirement with you mm -hmm. and you have a, a, a good amount of time uh, the client no worries to uh, working code they uh, after a uh, one year they want a working code so mm -hmm. we can go with the um, uh, waterfall model 
if if the clients need a uh, very aggressively a uh, working code and uh, they don't have a very crisp and clear requirement with, uh, with them so then we'll go with the agile process nowadays uh, a complete uh, um, uh, market uh, has adopted a uh, uh, agile process mm-hmm. okay and yeah. what is the difference between the verification and the validation yeah uh, so uh, verification and validation are two techniques uh, we are following into the uh, in, in in testing so in in terms of a verification uh, it's it's a kind of uh, uh, static testing so uh, see uh, when we develop uh, any product or any project so uh, we go in a different phases so it's very necessary to check we are going into the right direction and all the deliverables of to the upcoming phases uh, are uh, are available or not so um, so in in terms of a verification we don't we, we do not execute anything so uh, so we just uh, go through the documents we just go through the code uh, documents we just go through the requirement document high level documents and these kind of things we do and and check we are going into the right direction or not and uh, in terms of uh, validation uh, it's it's a start after the development once the development uh, will finish then uh, it, it's uh, our responsibility to check uh, your work, uh, your developed the code uh, will meet your requirement or not so we are execute we, we will execute our test cases and, uh, and check it's working fine. your your developed the code is working fine or not so and if if you face any kind of bug so you can report that so this is the this is difference it's a dynamic testing okay okay and uh, how will you uh, verify that the particular suppose uh, you have a web application okay yeah so yeah. how will you identify the this is the exact font size as for the client so how will you verify it so uh, yeah so uh, uh, this is the ui part of testing and uh-huh. uh, we have a figma with that with me uh-huh. uh, so uh, the uh, the client will provide me a figma diagram so okay. in a figma diagram uh, they also mention the font size font family and font weight also and font color so uh, uh when i check any application so definitely i i'll check the font size font family font weight and font color also okay so can you come again uh, how will you identify in the application uh in terms of uh, a, in uh, we can uh, we can use uh, any there are the multiple uh, uh, extensions available for checking these kind of things but mm-hmm. right now we are using uh, we uh, uh, use uh, inspect element and after that I, i'll inspect that element uh, okay, uh, and okay. uh, i'll check the okay okay got your element. point yeah yeah got your point yeah okay and what is the difference between uh, smoke testing and the sanity testing uh, yeah uh, so in terms of uh, smoke testing uh, suppose that uh, uh, we work in uh, uh, so suppose that we receive uh, any build from the uh, developer side so it's very necessary to check uh, our build stability if it's work uh, our build is stable or not so we perform a, a basic level of testing if if it is uh, 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 to check the health of the build so if sorry if the build is not working properly in 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 a uh, 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 small test cases in a basic test cases so definitely we can reject that build and assign it back to uh, uh, developer so uh, the main concern is to the check the health of the build Mm-hmm. so uh, once the uh, the build is um, working fine and pass the smoke testing after that uh, we will perform the uh, uh, sanity testing in a in a sanity testing uh, we check the overall health of the build so uh, uh, we we check the deep and die uh, uh, the overall uh, the complete functionality of our application and uh, and it, uh, and identifying the bugs okay and have you worked on performance testing 
No, uh, I don't uh, have uh, um, any ex- uh, Actually, my previous company and my current organization is not working on the performance. But in terms of our API testing, yes, I can say I, I, I always check my API response. Okay. okay. So, do you know what I'm is the performance any. testing? Yeah. Uh, uh, to check the performance, uh, to, uh, to check uh the performance of your application how many requests they will uh, mm, uh, they, uh they will ha- handle they will work on to uh, uh, in in a time unit and mm-hmm. uh, uh, we check the uh, we check the response time as well so uh, these kind of things uh, uh, we, we generally check into the performance so uh, uh, the there are the different type of performance testing like the load testing, stress testing, entrance testing and the volume testing. Okay. So they have a different different uh, uh, scope. Okay. So what is the difference between the load testing and the stress testing? Uh, yeah. Uh, in terms of a load testing, if I talk about the load testing, so we check our application uh, in uh, uh, with the uh, uh, specified uh, load. Uh, uh, suppose that uh, my client wants to uh, uh, this application should work for 100 users, should handle 100 users in a second. So, mm-hmm. uh, um, so I'll check with our application with uh, expected with expected uh, load. So uh, we check uh, with the 100 users, 99 users. In in terms of a uh, uh, stress testing, we check our application uh, the beyond the level of to the expected uh, load. Suppose that uh, it, it is working fine into the uh, with the hundred users. Definitely, I'll check with with one hundred ten user, one hundred twenty users. So I'll check my uh, uh, application stability in a uh, stress testing. Okay. So, have you aware about uh, what kind of uh, tools we can use for the performance testing? Yeah, uh, uh, I know the uh, one uh, a good tool. It's uh, 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 a J meter. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, I had only a one J meter right now. So th- yeah, but in market we have a different tools for uh, for performance. Testing. Okay. Do you know other tools name? Uh, sorry, right now I don't okay. uh, know. I I will search after this one. Okay. 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 Let's. Uh, move on the next question like i want to taste the uh, login page so can you explain me how many scenarios we have for the login yeah. page so uh, we have a different scenario we have uh, uh, we can only not only test uh, with the valid username with the valid uh, invalid username there yeah, just count, count of yeah yeah just count of uh, how many uh, number of scenarios you can create for it? Any uh, specific yeah, I count? Can, I can say around a 10. Only around a 10? Yeah. Uh, can you explain? 10 yeah. scenarios? Uh, so, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, so, uh, firstly I'll check uh, uh, the user is able to enter uh, uh, a username and a password in a username and password sheet. Mm-hmm. And a login button should be worked properly, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it should be clickable. And okay. uh, if if user enters a valid username and password and click onto the login button, it should be navigated onto the home page. Right? Okay. And mm-hmm. if user uh, does not enter uh, a valid username and password mm-hmm. and click onto the uh, login button, uh, it uh, the uh, proper RMS should be displayed. Okay. Um, and if user doesn't enter a, a password and only enter a username and click mm-hmm. onto the um, uh, login button, then a proper RMS should be displayed. And mm-hmm. uh, if, if the vice versa for the user field, and also I'll check with the uh, with uh, the, the password should be displayed to the encrypted form. Mm-hmm. And if we have, if we use any logic uh, to avoid uh, a space, so you should not be enter the word. So mm-hmm. actually, uh, the password field have a different combination. So according to the combination, I also check. Okay. Uh, and also, uh, I'll check. Um, uh, uh, my my password should not be displayed to the console. 
Okay. Uh, I'll I'll open uh, my web page into the cons uh, in in a console. So um, this is my chat. I'll try to play with uh, the URL. Suppose that I have logged in, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, I copy that URL, and after that I log out, and uh, again I put that URL in in a web browser, and try to hit. So it should be move on to the login page, not in a home page. Mm, so I think these are the test cases with me. Okay. Apart from this, any other scenarios? Yeah. So we can check if you handle a cookie and session as well. So we can check these kind of things also. Uh huh. Any other thing? Mm, any other things? Uh, uh, there is a forget password link. So. Uh-huh. Uh, or if 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 you if the application have a functionality to enter a, a valid username and password and then user will receive uh, any OTP, so we can check these kind of things also. Uh huh. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. These are the um, best cases in my mind right now. Okay. Maybe uh, so many test cases are there, but uh, my thinking yeah, yeah. is this. So suppose you forget password. So what are the other scenarios do you have? Uh, sorry. What are the scenarios for uh, like you said to me like forget password? So how many so, scenarios yeah. you can create? Yeah. So in terms of a uh, forget password, do we have uh, uh, different scenarios? Can I explain? Yeah. So if you just click onto the forget password, it should be navigating to the forget password page. And if you uh, there are the two ways uh, nowadays all the all the companies all the website have a two uh, directions with the, uh, with one mobile number and with the Gmail ID oh sorry a uh, mail ID it depends on the um, host uh, and uh, so we if if you just there are the two radio buttons so radio buttons should be work properly if you just select to the mobile number then uh, in the country code should To, uh, country code um, drop down should be available and uh, your country code should be displayed and you will enter a proper uh, number uh, and click on to the uh, uh, submit button and if that number is registered with our database then um, then message should be displayed properly if the number is not registered in our database then uh, error message should properly you are not registered with our database with this mm-hmm. number Uh, and if user enter a uh, invalid uh, country code, so I'll check with this. And uh, you after clicking on to the forget uh, the, uh, OK button, then user should uh, receive a uh, OTP. And uh, uh, and if you have any functionality after clicking on to the OK, user should navigate onto the uh, login page. So I'll check with this. And if you have a uh, same page for uh, set a new password, so uh, you just should navigate onto the um, set a password. And uh, the same thing I'll uh, perform with the Gmail. Okay. If I click onto okay. the Gmail. Okay. 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 Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. What are the key points for an if you are raising any ticket? What uh, are the core points? Raise, yeah. yeah. So, if you raise any tickets, so firstly, uh, uh, as per my my understanding, I, as per I, uh, I follow, so I mentioned the project name, module name, sub module name, and uh, uh, what what kind of work I found. So, uh, so I'll mention that, and it uh, and I I'll give a, a one a one line description to uh, to highlight the what kind of uh, what is the exact work. After that, I'll uh, uh, um, add a, a, a complete description and uh, under the description uh, box. And after that, I'll uh, attach uh, a proper step to reproduce. And after that, uh, if you have uh, uh, any screenshot or any artifacts with uh, to with uh, related to that work, so yes, I'll attach with that. And uh, I'll also there are the security and priority. So according to that, I'll uh, mention that, and uh, I'll attach that bug with my user history. And I'll uh, there is one field also uh, uh, status field and one field also assigning. Yeah. 
ఓకే ఓకే అండ్ ఎనీ అదర్ థింగ్స్ యూ నీడ్ టు యాడ్ ఇన్ యువర్ టికెట్ యా లెట్ మీ థింక్ యా సో వీ హ్యావ్ అ వర్జన్ నెంబర్ ఆల్సో ఓకే వీ హ్యావ్ అ వర్జన్ నెంబర్ విచ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ఐ యూస్ టు టెస్ట్ ఆ పర్టిక్యులర్ ఫంక్షనాలిటీ సో దీ జస్ అ బేసిక్ కోర్ ఫంక్షనాలిటీ టు వెన్ ఐ గివ్ ది కోట్ అండ్ ఫర్ ఓకే అండ్ హావ్ యు యూస్ లేబల్ సారీ లేబల్ లేబల్ హావ్ యు యూస్డ్ ఇన్ యువర్ జీరా టికెట్ లేబల్ లేబల్ ఇన్ ద సెన్స్ ఐ లేబల్ ఆర్ కంపోనెంట్ ఎనీథింగ్ లేబల్ ఆర్ కంపోనెంట్ యా ఐ హావ్ ఆల్్రెడీ టోల్డ్ యు నో ఐ విల్ మెన్షన్ ద ప్రాజెక్ట్ నేమ్ మాడ్యూల్ నేమ్ అండ్ సబ్ మాడ్యూల్ నేమ్ okay and after that if if some module also have a different module then i'll definitely i'll use uh, suppose that i am using uh, i'm working on to the language functionality mm-hmm. language translation so uh, before uh, my bug description one line description i am uh, generally prefer to add a uh, language functionality test uh, whatever i have uh, worked so i'll to put it there Okay. so uh, i i can easily to track uh, uh, it's related to for which function mm-hmm. okay so i can see in your uh, cv like uh, you have multiple switch uh, within a month <laughs> not completed yeah. year yearly so what are the reasons yeah. behind it yeah so uh, first i'll explain uh, for a few things when i was in a tcs so i was on a contract basis so uh, when uh, at that time uh, I, i spoke with my uh, project manager with my consultant pc so uh, they was assured to me to uh, uh, to convert into the permanent payroll i have i have worked uh, hard but, but uh, there is the no chance uh, to uh, convert into the permanent and after the pandemic uh, uh, there is no uh, chance or, or zero percent of to convert into the permanent so i left that and uh, after that i joined uh, agile uh, sorry uh, sarosoft so sarosoft is a product based company so uh, when i join up uh, sarosoft uh, the condition is uh, condition was good but it's working on to the education based uh, product so uh, few clients was not working that time or with the service of they were facing a fund some financial issue and they rapidly fire a uh, few colleagues without any notice so uh, there is no job security mm-hmm. right okay. so uh, uh, so so this is the biggest concern uh, about, uh, for me so so i join uh, uh, this organization this organization is pretty good uh, I, i have learned lot of things but uh, uh, your organization is uh, 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 there is a lot of opportunity to explore of uh, uh, knowledge or there are a lot of uh, um, opportunity to grow myself so uh, i am here that's it okay. i think my company is a middle based company middle year so uh, we we have a good bit, um, amount of work but uh, um in terms of a technology technology and tools so we are using a uh, very limited tools and nowadays market is changed rapidly so uh, mm-hmm. i uh, i am looking a big of medicine okay okay shubham we have done from my side and have you any questions uh so yeah uh, I, i have a uh, uh, actually i have a few questions but i i, I have a uh, two questions right now okay. so uh, uh, what what kind of function uh, technology you are using and uh, what is the exactly project may i know if you help uh, if you allow me yeah so like we are working on the multiple projects on the web applications mobile applications and the mobile application we are using the hybrid applications too and also okay. we are using the android and ios too so we are looking for a person like uh, he can handle uh, like if we are want to work with the web application so he can do if we have the like the in future requirement like api testing and the, like the automation testing uh, types of things so that uh, person can uh, utilize uh, the skills so we can manage anything else we have like the web applications or the mobile applications so yeah so many yeah. so uh, uh, 
I think correct. So there are a lot of opportunities to learn a lot of things. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah right. Yeah, so so are you using what kind of tools are you using right now in in terms of a testing? In the terms of testing if we talk about the manual testing so we are using the Zira uh and uh, the rest process uh, like uh, in the manual uh, we use the platform like .net mbc the latest framework okay. for the technology purpose if you are want to know about it. and if we talk about like the automation so we are using like, like selenium and uh, for the web applications and the apm uh, for mobile application so we have like multiple resources uh, those are working on like automation so we have the different team for the manual so we have different teams but we have like core now we are requirement for manual test so oh, yeah sounds good okay Okay, so that's it from my side. <laughs> yeah, so we are done from our side too. Uh, let's back to you uh, with the feedback. Okay, so HR will connect to you soon. Yeah, uh, thanks, thanks to all for being okay. here. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Have a nice day. Same okay. here. Okay, bye. Thanks. Thanks.